Welcome to another edition of Modern Dallas TV. I'm Jeff Levine with ModernDallas.net. This week, we stop by a wonderful townhouse development on Wycliffe Avenue, visit Mary Thomas Gallery and talk to Ashley Tatum about their show that she's just curated. And lastly, we find some cool vanities at Porcelanosa. Stick around for the art scene, the calendar, and enjoy this edition of Modern Dallas TV. Modern Dallas Real Estate is at a wonderful development, which I've admired coming up out of the ground over the last few months at the corner of Wycliffe and Harry Hines, an unbelievable area to, to develop a townhome complex like this. I'm here with Robbie Sturgeon from Briggs Freeman Sotheby's Realty. Robbie, tell us a little bit about this. You know, these are great duplexes. There's actually four in this, in this complex. Uh, this is one of the last ones that's available. Great modern features, uh, great location. Uh, you're across from the DART station. You're close to the design center, design district, uh, medical district. Uh, perfect for the busy professional. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's the right size. The right size. It's tell almost 1,300 square feet. And tell us a little bit about the benefits of... Uh... Benefits, you get all the great modern features, beautiful appliances, all the upgrades, m museum smooth walls. Uh, high ceilings, you know, low maintenance. It's uh, two bedroom, two bath. You it couldn't ask for, you know, something better. And then one of the great features is it's got a beautiful yard. Beautiful yard. There's room for a pool if you want. Great outdoor living space. It's, yeah, it's, it's the perfect setup. Yeah, it's it's a wonderful home. It's 364,900. It's located at the corner of Harry Hines and Wycliffe. You can see it at BriggsFreeman.com or visit Modern Dallas and see our listings. Experience LED at Lights Fantastic Pro, our sponsor on Modern Dallas TV. Lighting is changing at warp speed and there's definitely an LED revolution going on. You'll see a curated selection of some of the coolest new LED fixtures from some of the best brands around the world. Visit their 12,000 square foot showroom minutes from the new Nebraska Furniture Mart in Louisville off the Sam Raven Tollway. Come see for yourself how lighting can enhance and change your next project. Modern Dallas Art this week is here at Mary Thomas Gallery. I'm here with uh, Ashley Tatum, art advisor and curator of this current show. Thanks for being part of the show. Thank you for having me. And uh, we're talking a little bit about what you do and what your background is. So I've been in the art business for 17 years now. I was always interested in art since my childhood. I, art was my favorite subject in school. I graduated from Westminster College uh, with a degree in museum studies and art history. And when I moved back to Dallas, I was assisting the collections management department of the Trammell and Margaret Crow Collection of Asian Art. But I found after a while I was really yearning for a more diverse environment in art. So I soon found a job as an assistant director for a local contemporary art gallery. And I was hooked ever since. And I've worked for several galleries over the years, the longest tenure being Gerald Peters Gallery. Um, and I left the director position there in 2009 to head up the Dallas office of a nationally based art advisory firm. So a slightly different shift in the art market. And I really loved it. And several years later, decided to launch out on my own and create a Tatum Art Advisory. Perfect. Great. So how did you come to curate this show? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mary just called me up and asked me to one day. How uh, easy is that? <laughs> it was, it was, it was a, you know, I certainly understand having worked in galleries for many years and um, you do kind of want an enlightened, fresh perspective. So why not hire a third party objective point of view? Absolutely. And I was delighted at the opportunity. So one of the challenges presented with doing a group show, curating a group show as opposed to a solo artist exhibition is the diversity in art. Mary's core stable of artists um, have a variety of styles, which is not always easy to assimilate in the same room. My job as an art advisor is to always have the best interests of the clients at hand. The job of our gallerist, their responsibility is to promote the careers of their artists. So blending those two ideas, my approach was basically to go into her storeroom, look at all available inventory, and through a comparative examination, select what I thought was the best example of those specific artists. 
excellent. What, you know, you, you think it's that easy, but it is a little complicated. It, it can be, definitely. There, there are five keys in determining intrinsic quality in art that when you have to curate a large variety of things, it's helpful in determining that process. So what I did is basically look at everything and through my opinion, ascertained what is the best original piece. That's the first element in quality in art. The second would be the technical skill, how well is it crafted. The ancient Greeks actually had no word for art in their vocabulary. So the closest term they had was techni, which means technical skill. All right, so that's an important element. Another element is, is the work of art confident in its theme? Is it bold, uncompromising? It's very true to what the artist's intent was. The fourth element of quality I say would be, is it coherent in its composition? Is it well balanced? Is it proportioned? And then the final thing is the work of art memorable. You know, what draws you to it? You linger there and you're not like you forget it weeks or months later. So those things I looked for when curating this group exhibition. Well, that sets the stage with all that knowledge and experience. What do you see for Dallas and the art scene in 2016? I think a lot of exciting shows are coming up uh, for not only fresh inventory from local galleries, but also our museums and exhibition spaces. The Dallas Contemporary, for example, Goss Michael Foundation, the Dallas Museum of Art, the National Sculpture Center always have fantastic shows. Uh, North Park has some new enticing programming with their art. And certainly the Dallas Art Fair, which is a huge draw and gets better every year. It's a lot of fun for me. Well, I tell you what, it's, it, the art scene in Dallas is lively, it's robust, we've got great people involved besides the gallerists, art advisors. Take the time, visit the galleries, stop by the galleries, visit Mary Tomas, located on Dragon Street in the Dallas Design District. Ashley, thanks, very informative. I think people will gain a lot of knowledge from that little blurb. I hope so, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Modern Dallas this week visits Porcelanoso and takes a peek at their vanity collection. They specialize in the production of modern bathroom furniture, including bathroom vanities, accessories that stand out for their innovative designs. Porcelanosa has extended its product range to include different materials such as lacquered gloss, wood veneers, laminate veneers, and Creon new generation solid surface. Their contemporary bathroom furniture, vanities, cabinets, and other accessories are based on the concepts of functionality and modernity, along with personality, design appeal, and a distinctive style that makes their bathroom furniture a focal point in every bathroom. Visit Porcelanosa in the Dallas Design District at 167 Highline Drive, Suite 415, or you can see their website at Porcelanosa dash usa.com Mary Thomas Gallery is a contemporary fine arts gallery offering collectors, designers, and patrons exciting and visionary art. Located in the vibrant Dallas Design District, the gallery space provides opportunities to inform, instruct, and inspire art collectors. Rotating exhibits feature regional, national, and international artists whose works may be found in private, corporate, and museum collections. Please visit us at 11 10 Dragon Street or at MaryThomasGallery.com. To wrap up this week on Modern Dallas TV, on the art scene, The Mac opens their show with Jeff Parrott on February the 6th from 7 to 10 p.m. in their new location in the Cedars. And on the calendar of events, the Dallas Water Utilities has their February the 6th event from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Healthy lawns with less water. If you'd like a little bit more modern, check out Modern Dallas on Facebook, on Twitter, Modern Dallas, Instagram, modern.dallas. And if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary home, high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in Dallas. For this week, and like every other week, thanks for being part of the show. We'll see you later. <laughs>